OG Rap fans, get ready, because the two West Coast icons are reuniting for Snoop Dogg's new album. Snoop Dogg is changing positions in the literal sense, with Missionary, the follow-up to his breakthrough album, Doggy Style, that made him as famous as he is today. Do you think his new album can live up to the OG album that brought him to fame? Or would it have any new artists to give it a modern spin instead of going old school? Let's find out. First off, why did Doggy Style become so popular? Snoop said during a recent appearance on ESPN with Stephen A. Smith on his podcast No Mercy that he's been in the studio working on his new album with Dr. Dre. But before we get into that, here's a look at how Snoop got his fame at Death Row Records. It all started with Doggy Style, Snoop Dogg's debut studio album, which was released in 1993, kicking off his career as one of the most famous personalities in hip-hop history. The teenage rapper, who at the time went by the stage name Snoopy Doggy Dog, had made an appearance on Dr. Dre's solo album, The Chronic, the year before. As Doggy Style approaches its 30-year anniversary, rumors have surfaced that the duo is working on a new album again. The two OGs are back in the game, working together again for an album. It's definitely going to be epic. The two are probably going to try to expand on the legacy of Death Row Records, where they both had their first albums recorded. Snoop even acquired the company recently, and he admitted that the process of doing that caused him to rethink his own artist legacy. More on that later, so don't go anywhere. So why are Snoop and Dr. Dre so close? About halfway through the episode of the podcast with Stephen A. Smith, the man whose forehead Kevin Hart loves to make fun of, Snoop highlighted his friendship and professional relationship with Dre, before reminding everyone that he thinks their relationship has evolved into brotherhood because of Dre's work ethic and because of how long they've known each other. Of course, after spending so much time together, you get close and become part of each other's lives. This is the reason he decided to work with Dr. Dre on his new album, and they've been at it for the past three months, apparently. Snoop says that it'll be done by November 2023, but only time will tell. But what we do know is that it'll be produced by Dre himself and will mark the 30th anniversary of Snoop's Doggy Style album. That name just doesn't get old does it? Ever wondered why he called it that? Well, it's common sense, actually. His name has dog in it, so any song he makes automatically makes it his style, aka Doggy Style. As far as the new album goes, it's called Missionary, because the first one was Doggy Style. Connect the dots? Connect the dots. Next, when did people find out about the collab? When Snoop and Dre were seen in the studio with Eminem, Sweetie, and EPMD member Eric Sermon earlier this year, rumors about a joint project between them began to do the rounds on social media. Snoop and Dre's first collaboration, Deep Cover, from almost 30 years ago, helped Dre launch his solo career. Snoop was also involved in Dr. Dre's debut album, The Chronic, before they started working on Doggy Style. Recent months have seen lots of Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre teasers working on something, and they were first spotted in the studio with Eminem when he put up a post with the caption, Just a few bros hanging out, with all three of them in the studio. As guests on the next episode, and what's the difference? Snoop and Eminem both appeared on Dr. Dre's second studio album, 2001, which was released in 1999. A few weeks later, other pictures of Dr. Dre and Snoop in the studio began to circulate. In these images, the two are seen with artists like Sweetie and Diddy. Diddy even posted a picture on social media and called working with Dr. Dre a dream come true. Who wouldn't, honestly? But could this project be shelved? Although Dr. Dre has a history of being linked with projects that never see the light of day, just like Kanye West's Jesus is King sequel and his own shelved album, Detox, having Snoop at the wheel should ensure a missionary doesn't suffer the same fate. Snoop Dogg has also taken an unusual step with his plans to turn Death Row Records into an NFT album. The iconic rapper claimed that he has officially taken down multiple Death Row Records from streaming sites, including his first album, Doggy Style. The Chronic by Dr. Dre and Dog Food and The Dog Pound, All Eyes on Me by Tupac, and the posthumous album The Don Columinati, The Seven Day Theory are still streamable on platforms since Death Row Records no longer owns the master recordings for both records. Snoop also mentioned that the first thing he did was take all of his music off of all of the popular platforms that people are familiar with since they don't really pay for the streams. That makes sense because despite receiving millions of streams, nobody other than the record label is paid. So, what has Snoop planned 
band for Death Row Records. The old Snoop Dogg is definitely back. If you're familiar with the big dog in the same way old school rap fans are, then you probably know that Snoop never misses an opportunity. He's a player and wants to keep playing the game till his dying breath. He's still writing catchy lyrics and reviving Death Row Records, and you can see that he's relevant in almost every aspect of life. He's a money-making machine. What Snoop wants to do is take Death Row and build a platform like Amazon, Netflix, and Hulu. It'll basically be a Death Row app, but until the app is released, the music will exist in the metaverse for the time being. Snoop said on Instagram that The Chronic is back home while keeping the details of the Death Row Records focused service a secret. According to earlier rumors, the record wouldn't be released again by Death Row Records until 2023. Howard King, Dr. Dre's attorney, also stated that the rapper-producer owns 100% of The Chronic. Either way, mark your calendars because Doggy Style's exact 30th anniversary is in November 2023, giving Dr. Dre and Snoop plenty of time to get everything ready for the release of Missionary. Moving on, have there been any other collabs recently? As a matter of fact, yes. Dr. Dre asked Snoop to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show in February. Of course, Snoop got a little stoned before the show to warm up. That's literally his fuel. Since then, he has released an animated children's series and a breakfast cereal, acted in Jamie Foxx's Vampire Hunter movie, Day Shift, and collaborated with BTS on Benny Blanco's Bad Decisions. Snoop D-O-double-G is always making money moves. In other news, Snoop Dogg will be returning to Metro Atlanta for his new comedy, The Underdogs. So let's touch on that a little bit too. Next, what's the plot for Snoop's movie? The movie will be produced by Snoop Dogg, Kenya Barris, Blackish, and MGM. As far as the cast goes, Mike Epps and George Lopez are among the celebrities Snoop Dogg has in his sights, set on his football-themed comedy, and according to Deadline, they have officially joined the cast. Tika Sumter and Andrew Schultz are a couple of the cast's other famous actors. The filming is scheduled to start on September 26 and last for around seven weeks. Snoop Dogg portrays Jason Jennings, also known as 2Js, an ex-NFL player who, following a run-in with the law, decides to coach a minor football team instead of going to jail to revive his fading career. The movie will be directed by Charles Stone, who also directed Drumline in Atlanta 20 years ago. In light of the fact that Snoop has been a football coach for more than 15 years with the Snoop Youth Football League, which he formed with his lifelong business partner, Constance Schwartz Marini, this movie is very meaningful to him. He and Constance have learned so many invaluable life skills by giving back to the community through football that they are now able to pass on their knowledge to kids who live in the same conditions that they used to. Snoop hopes that his movie will shed some light on the tough challenges that both kids and adults deal with in urban areas and in the sophisticated football world. Finally, is Dr. Dre the reason Snoop is famous? Well, Dr. Dre introduced Snoop Dogg to the public in 1992 with the soundtrack cut Deep Cover. The following November, they released Snoop's legendary debut solo album, Doggy Style, which was solely produced by Dre and cemented Snoop's status as one of the top rappers in the game. Despite Dre's current lack of productivity, their relationship has lasted thanks to their countless collaborations throughout the years. Now, the big question is, will Dr. Dre ever release a new album? Dr. Dre's mysterious Detox album has fans impatiently waiting even to this day. There have even been rumors that Dre is still working on the project, going back to last January. Do you think it's ever going to be released? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.